And the last topic is, what game recovered best from a terrible launch? So a game that had a terrible launch, but then recovered and has uh, come to be known as, you know, widely liked. I, I'm i gonna take this one first since I went last uh, in the, the previous round. And I think we're gonna go with World of Warcraft. A lot of people don't remember, Ooh, but World of right, Warcraft actually. was plagued by long queues, latency issues, just over... Mm. Uh, overall servers just crashing and burning and it took a while for them to realize you know that they needed to upgrade their servers and and actually make it so that people could play this game that they had but then once they did people are like oh my god this is the best mmo that's ever been created and that's high praise because you know ultima online was a thing when (laughs) when world of warcraft came out so yeah it really went on to just dominate but uh, I remember I didn't buy it right away, but I remember I almost didn't because uh, I had friends that were like, yeah, you just can't get into that game. And I'm like, oh, it sounds like it's uh, I was in college at the time. I'm like, oh, it sounds like it's not even worth my time. But I ended up uh, I did buy it. And then I played it so much uh, that I that I almost failed out of college. And so then I had to stop playing it. But it wasn't. <laughs> but it wasn't because it was a bad game. It was because it was ta- it was taking over my whole life. Oh yeah, my grades slipped when uh, World of Warcraft <laughs> came out, uh, or when I started playing World of Warcraft, I should say. Wow. So that is my answer. And then let's go over to Lord Cognito. What do you got for us? This one is is funny because not that long ago, and this this game got dragged when it came out. Oh boy, so many technical issues, so many problems. Highly anticipated, but I've played it a lot know. recently. I think Mm -hmm. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Played it a lot recently. It's come a long way. It plays extremely well on Steam Deck or the ROG Ally. And now they've got a big upcoming DLC with Phantom, I believe, Liberty. Ah. Yeah, Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk 2078 has really come a long Ooh, way. And that's a good answer. From everything I have heard also in reference to these this new content, they're dropping last gen. Because I believe that was a big problem. They had PC. They had all these different formats. And it really shouldn't have been on, on past generation consoles. But um, yeah, man, it's it's. I'm hearing they revamped everything. The, the, the police AI this, and the new next gen only stuff is really you know, amazing. So uh, it, it's cool to see CD Projekt Red kind of turn this right. And last thing I want to give a shout out is edge runners mm, edge oh runners really mm-hmm. changed the perception of the game and yes. made people come back post patches and now they're like yo it's actually running like how we thought it was gonna run so yeah give it a shot what a brilliant what a brilliant strategy instead of just being like no we fixed the game they're, they're like we'll drop an awesome anime and then people will have to go back and check out <laughs> yes. the game. that was literally me dude cognito yep. i feel like we are like twin brains because yes th- that is exactly that was my answer too originally i'm oh. gonna change my answer now but <laughs> the fact that they gutted it the fact that yes. people came back and i was the person who came back because of of edge runners i was like oh maybe i'm interested in figuring out this game again because it burned so many of us when it launched yeah everyone was hyped for that one uh, yeah i'm glad it had a resurgence uh okay why don't we go over to so hinky so hinky what do you got for us uh this is so i think some people are going to disagree about how much it bounced back but um my answer was Battlefront 2. Oh! Uh, this game was hotly anticipated coming off of the revamped Battlefront. And when it came out, now people that didn't play the game, this this was widely opinions of people that didn't play the game. So it wasn't, it, things were very exaggerated, but people thought that it was pay to win. That you loot could box, buy these box, loot boxes, box. the loot boxes would upgrade you faster, you'd get advantages over people that, that didn't buy the loot boxes. Um, that was very exaggerated, but it definitely tanked the game at launch to the point where, like, they very quickly reverted, uh, that system. It was almost like they knew that they were going to have to do this, uh, but they, they got rid of that system. They turned it around from that front, but then, uh, just, like, really devoted a ton of resources to, uh, adding a ton of free content to the game, free DLC, new maps, new game modes, Mm -hmm. uh, as well, new heroes all the time. And uh, actually checked recently, people are still playing the game. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're not updating it anymore, but there's still a ton of people playing that game. Uh, uh, so this was my answer, and I have to add in that one of the things that, like, 
it wasn't just like the pay to win aspect of it, but there were like bugs that were so bad that they had to take main characters out. Um, Palpatine, Palpatine beca- became my main because I knew how to exploit the system because you could shoot you could electricity the through the wall. Through the wall. Yeah. So they'd be sitting there. They didn't see it coming. They'd all die. You'd get all your points and then you'd be able to respawn as oh, Palpatine because so you got it all. On the multiplayer games. I yes. <laughs> I need to take every advantage I can in order well, to... So what uh, it was was he had a lightning aura and, and that would go through the wall. So if you you just sat next to a wall with the aura on it would just kill everyone mm-hmm. in the next room oh, over that's hilarious. yeah yeah well all right well don't come to me because i have to come up with a new answer now yeah. oh okay uh why don't we go to lord addict what do you got for us uh i think i'm gonna say tom clancy's rainbow six siege uh, Ooh. Ooh. i didn't know that that's there good. was a, even a problem with launch on launch with oh, that it one was oh, yeah. oh, when yeah. it first came out it was atrocious and dead pretty much like mm-hmm. yeah most people moved on from it it was when they did that free weekend uh, they yes. rebranded oh they, yeah they restructured a lot of the patches where you know balanced people it, it gave people hope and you know, they, they went up and they played that game. And I remember, like, when that came out, I was one of those people that, like, tried it and then I dropped it for a long time. And, you know, when they gave that free-to-play weekend, they it was like their version of, we got our sh- together now. Yeah. <laughs> like, just try it, please. And, and, you know, to this day, they got, like, like it has to oh. be over 30 operators yeah it's like, one of the highest pl- uh, playing games on, on it, xbox and mm-hmm. yeah, i'm sorry good yeah it, it went from like a doom and gloom game to like an amazing sunshine type of game so yeah Cons- consistent operators yeah i remember that the discourse around it when it first dropped it was kind of oh like a lot of people who wanted the pve portion of the game were very disappointed that it was kind of just pvp focused mm-hmm. and but they just stuck with it and it, it's got a huge following that's actually a really good choice well and they um they also i mean granted it's like ub mainly ub supported but there's a big esports scene ubisoft games all come out and is rocky at first and then they end up like fixing it because for honor did that for a while too oh yeah and, uh, i would say it had a little bit less rocky foundation because it, it had a pretty solid you know attempt at that hand-to-hand combat and they they really for, built on to that really well. Man, for honor, for honor is a game that if they released it at the state that it was in two years into the game's life, it would have been a major success. But it was just yeah, it was a little bit of a mess yeah, when they launched it. Took too long to get it. there. Maybe early access should have been an option for them. I don't. Know. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, more, <laughs> more titles need to you know utilize early access. I don't think enough do. Like Sea of Thieves should have been an early access game. Yes, definitely, Ooh. definitely. Okay, I'm using that as my answer. Sea of Thieves. <laughs> okay, cool. good answer. Well, let's go, let's go to Jovin now. Jovin, Sea of Thieves. Give us uh, your take. Uh, oh, uh, it's okay. I'm, pu- I'm pushing my notes <laughs> oh. to the to the side of my table. There you go, Joe. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, let me see what we got here. Uh, no, I just, I just remember like being kind of excited for it, and then it came out, and there was just like nothing in the game. Uh, like we just started the series recently, playing it, and maybe it's still kind of hard. We're nine or ten seasons in, and now there's like more to do. But I just think it started off a little weak. Yeah, I just remember there was a beta, and everyone played the beta, and they're like, "Man, this beta is really cool. It'll be so awesome on release when they have a lot more stuff." And then the release was basically just the, the beta same game and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I, I, the only thing I didn't like about it is like it was one of those games where you start it. You do like one or two things, and you've literally played everything the game had to offer. Mm-hmm, <laughs> like, mm-hmm. like the moment you raised the cell, learned how to like you know operate the boat. That's half the game. game. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah, I still can't tell what direction the wind's going. Is it forward or backwards? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. there should be like an option in the settings to where like it's more vi- uh, like more yeah. clear because sometimes i'll be like is that left is that right and i, I have a, a friend that's really really good at seat he's like no dude it's going the other way it's like how do you tell <laughs> like, the, the wind lines that you see should have little arrows in them <laughs> show you which way you go. just like in real life yeah just like in real life and they it's, light up green when you've got your sails in yeah. the right direction it's, it's like and bu- it's, putting yeah, on the, the bumpers right there, and light bowling up green. for pirates <laughs> it's like why can't wind be like ghost of shishima wind like where it's clearly oh, yeah. going that was in very one prominent <laughs> yeah it was very prominent um all right mari takahashi uh original answer was cyberpunk i'm gonna go with 
Okay, so I I know the right answer is uh, New Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. New Man's Sky. New Man's Sky. New Man's Sky. New Man's Sky. Someone has to Photoshop Newman from Seinfeld onto the cover of No Man's Sky. That's definitely top five of all time. Top five of all time. I love that. But but I don't know if I can give a real answer because I was a day one player and then really disenchanted and then never went back. But I know that people have like vouched for it. It's fantastic mm-hmm. now. It's everything that they said it was going to be. Um, so my answer is going to be Fallout New Vegas. Um, I know that was incredibly buggy at launch. Mm-hmm. Um, great storyline. But golly, has it become like top five favorite games of all time for myself. Um so yeah, I, I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, and I, I knew I knew a few Fallout fans that absolutely hated New Vegas when it first launched. They were so disappointed. It was bad. Crazy yeah. freezes. Yeah. But man, it it turned out to be the best Fallout game to me. With masterpiece. With No Man's Sky, I don't know if there's a company that's been hit harder with like one of the biggest gaming lies on day one, right? Because it was yeah. like, like you, it's multiplayer, yeah. yeah but then it yeah, wasn't you that. can run into other people, yeah. and then literally oh, on the day one, so big, there's other yeah. people in the world, but you'll never run into them. That's day that one, is like the ultimate lie. It's so big, you'll just never see them. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't it like Stephen Colbert who asked the question? He's like, okay, so if I'm on this planet and my friend is playing, and we go to the same planet, we can find each other, right? I think it was Colbert. Mm. It was mm. like it was a total like out of pocket sort of like person I think asking the question and they're like yeah and I think that's <laughs> what does that do? That wow I didn't know that's where it it's stemmed like hello from. Something. Uh, hello games. Hello games. Yeah, I can't remember their their name, but like shout out to them because when all that was going down, they went ghost. They put their head yeah. underwater yeah. Yeah. and they're like, oh, we yeah. ain't talking until it's fixed. <laughs> yeah, we'll <laughs> fix this. Yeah. Definitely and a turnaround. It was early access, early access, early Most access, early studios, access. <laughs> let, let's be real here. Most studios in this industry would have had like those little text things every other week and, and mm-hmm. they would have updates constantly. They're like, we're not even talking to you guys. You can yeah, call us trash dark. for the next six months. But when we show <laughs> and you, people did. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Good one. Did we get everyone? I think we did. Let's reveal who, if anyone, <laughs> has been murdered. Blowing up all over the launch pad, you see the corpse of Laser Corn. What, twice? <laughs> they killed him twice, You killed, me, killed me twice in a row. <laughs> How does it feel? Bad, real bad. Yeah. This yeah, is my episode two that I'm hosting. You, That's hilarious. You kill well, me on the, the episode <laughs> I'm hosting twice? Look, ghosts <laughs> host way better than, than living people. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, the, go- I'm the ghost host. <laughs> you ghost yeah. the ghost with the most. All right, well, it's, like, it's like, like ghost, like ghost rider. rider. You're a ghost. Yeah, the ghost host. Let's let's try and figure out which of you bastards decided <laughs> to off me. I um, I only have three notes. I don't. I didn't feel like I anyone stuck out to me this round. I have Cognito saying it's come a long way. Ooh. Mari saying mm. they gutted it. And yeah, then, I said it too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just a common phrase. And then addict saying doom and gloom. That's it. Yeah. Uh, well, I was. None of those were like super. I, I, you know, I say those. I, but those are just. I only had three too. It's like I listen really. Like I was really listening for like just one and done phrases because I felt like mm-hmm. the longer that the round goes, the less odds of you guys saying your phrases. I don't mm-hmm. know. I, I had Mari. She had. She, she said. Uh, Burn so many of us. The way she, the inflection had me. So that's what that's okay. the one I had. Uh, my Beautiful. note was I didn't have three. I had I'm one. Like a killer. Uh, from <laughs> Lord Cognito, good sir. Plays yeah. extremely well. Yeah. And just the way you used it in context was it, it felt on the nose. You you know what me and Cog have like we have a huge advantage because we know how each other speaks. Like, mm-hmm. yep. <laughs> so Cog would you agree? Out of was that out of me. pocket or was that pretty natural? I don't know. Was it? <laughs> Dude, there's two murderers. They're working uh, together. Cool, cool conspiracy. So, okay, everyone's kind of put their notes. I'm, I'm gonna put mine on Lord Cognito. But are you guys landing on one person, or are you? I'm yeah, I landed on more. <laughs> yeah, I'm landing on Mari too. I actually, the only, Ooh, the only, the only notes I had this entire thing was two things she said. She said that gutted phrase and the burn phrase. Mari's meta game is to immediately declare that she is the killer. <laughs> And she wasn't yeah, the killer twice in a row. 
Well, I I was undecided, so I'm just going to go with Mari now. I feel convinced by the guest. God, I was really <laughs> hoping that I could copy off of your guys' notes because I, I <laughs> yeah. forgot to write notes down. She's used to not. She's used yeah, to not Yeah, she, uh, she didn't have to listen to other people this time. Okay. Mm. It, is, it, is my, it is my game to look like the smart one and not take the notes. Um. Okay. Just, uh, just go with the program. Blame yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to get the points that way because I'm not the killer. Um, okay, let's see. Or am I? The, mm, the one time she says she's not the killer. Can the killer legitimately vote themselves to get points? No, no. No? no? I, don't think so. I don't think anyone's yeah, you done can, that. But you wouldn't get points. Yeah. Tomorrow's like doing the math. Like, wait, 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 wait. So if I Hold do on, name myself, I, I win. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to go with Sahinky. I don't have any notes. Okay. I, don't, okay. I don't have notes, but I'm just going to go with Sahinky. You I think said he something would... that upset her. <laughs> I, I guess. I think, that he, I think that he would kill Laser Corn again just for the jokes. What? So, so Inky, what was I, the phrase? How dare you? Because I would have killed Joven if I was the killer. Uh, what were we, <laughs> just to keep that joke going. What were you saying, Joe? Your notes. You had three notes. Oh, I had gutted it for Mari. I deleted them already. I had uh, gutted, gutted it, it for Mari. Um... What was it? That control uh, Z's. Burned, burned, okay, I just I want to know Mars. Burned yeah. me. I didn't say burned. Bur- that was oh, okay. yeah. So what is that? Rebuttals. Uh, addict, addict. You voted for Mari. Mari. Yeah, it was really hard. Cognito. You voted for Cognito. But now I'm kind of thinking maybe Joven would have kept the joke going of healing laser. And then so Hinky, you voted for. I voted for Mari. Okay, Mari has two votes right now. But Mara, but I now I believe votes. I kind of believe I her that she's and not the killer. I will be your president. I <laughs> sincerely appreciate all of the votes, and I will do my best. In, <laughs> That's uh, not how this works. Is this her <laughs> model? We're voting for murderers, not president. <laughs> well, she's like, thank you for believing that I'm a killer. Thank you. Like, <laughs> I appreciate it. Welcome I to will, America. Um, do my best in this role. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that is Mario's rebuttal. Is anyone changing their votes? Uh, what about Cognito? Nope. Cognito needs a rebuttal. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I ain't doing it. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> that sounds honest. I was pretty confident that it was going to be Cognito. The fact that Mari didn't hear um, anyone else's notes makes me do think that maybe she did. Like, like she didn't have that to. That sentence was not a real sentence, but okay. <laughs> Makes I feel me like do I got the that. idea of what yeah. he was saying. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm going to stick with Cognito. I'm going to, I'm going to, I think if I get the murder right here, if my math is right, I take the win for the episode. So I'm kind of. There was one vote for Sohinki, right? I didn't do it. How dare you accuse me and uh, a, a pox on the. All right. Last <laughs> chance to change votes. Give me the pox? Do not give the president the pox. <laughs> no vote changes. Paco, will you please reveal who the actual... Wait, wait, who died? Who died? Was that... Lizgorn. No, no, no. Died again. Who are we killing? Mari voted. Okay. Yeah, Mari's voted been out. voted three. Oh, wait. And since I am dead, I get to cast my ghost vote. And I cast my ghost vote for... Uh, Mari. Cognito. I because you I didn't do it wasn't convincing to me. I think you did. I think you did do it. <laughs> you ain't believe, I killed you last round. Yeah. You gotta kill me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you killed me last round. That's why you get my vote. All right, uh Paco, Random. please reveal the true killer. The killer was, in fact, Joven. No! Oh, I had a feeling. I hate it when Joven gets away with it. It's the feeling when Joven right, survives, yeah. he's the killer. Like, the rule isn't wrong. He, Mari just what had the wrong it? logic on the wrong round. The right ro- yeah. logic on the wrong round. What yeah. was the phrase that slays? The phrase that phrase. slays was, didn't see it coming through the wall. So they'd be sitting there, they didn't see it coming, they'd all die. Ah. In Ooh, fact, that's a good one too. None of you that's saw a good it coming. One. Not even none of us. the uh, producer himself. He had to message me. He's like, "Did you? Did you say this?" I was like, "Yes, I did." <laughs> Wow. We have to go it's back and check recount. the tape because if you forgot yeah. to say it, no, nope. uh, we will retroactively subtract <laughs> points from you. It was uh, because recount. Sohinki took my answer, and at first I was like, you "How am I going to work this in?" <laughs> I uh, I had to work my answer into or my slaying uh, phrase into his answer. All right, and now we have uh, the final scores, which I have just been messaged by producer Paco, and uh, with zero points, we'll start at the bottom. We got Sohinki. And Lord Addict, 
Mari with 10 <laughs> points. I Con- nailed it, dude. It was a great episode Con- for me. I'm way down there. This is golf scores, right? We talked about that. <laughs> nope. nope. High <laughs> score wins. Scores. Cognito has 20 points. And Ooh, the wow. dual winners on the day, both getting dual away winners. With, with murder, were Joven and Lasercorn with 30 points each. 30 points each. Ooh, 30. That's right. All right. 30. Up here in, in first place, Joe Vin Shire. Uh, and Laser Corn also tied. Well, the president will now smite you. I don't like that. Uh, tie, tiebreaker goes to the person that didn't die the most, right? Yes, that should be. Tie, oh, true. Tie, tiebreaker goes to the show host, which checking notes was me. It was me. What a bias is this? Yeah, so I win. Putting this in a win column for me. <laughs> Great. It's not like your bias or anything. Yeah. <laughs> this was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining us, Lord Addict and Lord Cognito. Uh, one more time, they are the Iron Lords podcast. There will be a link in the description. Check that out. Uh, definitely check out their podcast. They are way more current and up-to-date on their video game news than we could ever hope to be. And they are a great source for news. So uh, definitely check uh, their channel out. And, uh, yeah, thanks for joining us. Hopefully we get to do some more collaborations and stuff oh, in the future. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah, this is a lot of fun. T- tons of fun. All right. Uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Praise Oxo. Bye. Praise Bye. Praise Peace. Peace. Thank you uh, to all our patrons who helped make this episode possible. You can see them right over there. And if you want to become a patron, head over to our uh, Patreon. There's a link in the description to that. And you can get your name listed over here, as well as get a bunch of other awesome, uh, great perks, like extended cuts of the video over on uh, Patreon, and asking us a question for our monthly Q&A, which is also on Patreon. Okay, bye.